Howdy. So today I'm going to take you out to the farm. We have a beaver problem out there. It's, the beaver is chewing all of the trees around the pond. Now they're going to be taken out eventually, but there's a lot of trees out there that we want to keep. So we're going to set some beaver traps today. Got a lot going on. Uh, tomorrow we're getting our shed built, being delivered and built on site. I'll put that on video, hit subscribe. Also, I want to let you guys know, Jack Russell alert. <laughs> I want to let you guys know uh, my son keeps bugging me about my Instagram page because I have one up. So if you want to follow us on Instagram, probably about four or five times a week, we'll do up a little post. It's uh, Instagram forward slash how to with how to with doc. So go over there, follow me. And uh, maybe when we hit, you know, 10,000 followers, I'll, uh, I'll give away something big. <laughs> Anyways, so we're going to go to the farm. We're going to set up the beaver traps, but David's out there. He's actually bush hogging the fields that we planted. And he's gonna do a real light till, just with a, about an inch, because we're gonna replant those for the deer out there for our fall planting. Plus, we got all the lawn stuff going on here. Man, it's coming along great, guys. This, this really is coming along great. So anyways, I'll take you out there. I'll show you what we're doing today. If you wanna watch, watch. If not, uh, Netflix has some really good stuff on there. <laughs> here we go. We really hadn't been catching a lot of fish out here is because the water, the water visibility was so low. I mean, I had like 12 to 18 inches visibility when I dropped my disc. So I have one of these discs and I drop it down. Now that disc can go all the way to the bottom and I can see it. So let me take this disc. And the whole point of this is you drop it down, 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 till you can't see it anymore and it's on the bottom. And that's well over 24 inches of visibility, which is phenomenal. Anyways, let's get back to the beavers. Anyways, so I've got a beaver problem. We've taken out a ton of trees. Uh, we've taken out a ton of trees on this property, over a hundred trees. But see this pond berm? The pond berm, you can't have trees on your berm, period. What will end up happening is those roots, when the tree dies, the water will follow the roots all the way through that berm and you'll lose your, you'll lose your pond. So technically all these trees need to come off this berm. I, there's actually a local guy near me who is one of the only state certified berm people with the Corps of Engineers because here's the deal. If you have a water inflow and a water outflow like I have, so I'm spring fed and then there's an outflow, technically your berm is controlled in the state of Georgia by the Corps of Engineers. Didn't know that, did you? So this guy's gonna come in and he's gonna take out all the trees and he has to take out the trees on both sides of the barn. He's certified, he's licensed, and that's the way he has to do it. So that's a pretty big job. That's coming up in about six weeks. But the beavers are in here just chomping down trees. Here's some old damage. Look at this. I mean, what a way to kill a tree. See that? That's beaver right there. That circle around that tree is beaver. That's beaver right there. And these trees are gonna end up, look at them, I'm right behind it, look behind them. Over there, beaver. Mr. Beaver needs to go. So I don't wanna, some people are gonna say, Doc, why don't you use like a conibear or um, a killing trap. Uh, I've got too many other animals here and once in a while there's like a stray dog or something that comes by and I don't want, God forbid, the last thing I want to see is a dog in a trap. So I'm using these big live traps and I'll use the gland lure and some black cherry sticks is what I'm going to use to set them. Now the other thing is there is no beaver house here. So where does he live? I don't know. So I got to set the traps on both sides of the pond and see what happens. Yeah, I am trying to get, what I'm doing is I'm taking beaver gland, beaver gland. Milligans, Milligans. Oh, we love the Milligans. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm putting, I'm putting Milligans, I'm putting a beaver gland on these. Now this is black cherry sticks and beavers like black cherries. Why do I know that? because all my black cherry trees are eaten up. And what I'm doing is I'm just taking a little bit of this. So we've got both the black cherry branch and the beaver gland in there, just like that. 
And that should do it. And this stuff, whew, man, that stuff is potent. So I'm going to set up both traps and then we have to go over. Like I said, we don't have a beaver house, so we're going to put them on the ground over where he's been eating trees. And we'll see what happens. We've got a little bit of beaver activity back here, but man, these spider webs. What are they called? Some Japanese yellow and black spider. They invaded Georgia in the past like two or three years. Spider. All right, so this is the creek that flows in to my pond. And then that feeds the pond. Um, and you can see beaver activity back in here. I have a feeling that he's either up there or there's a bunch of trees down in the cow pasture. He might be there. So we put the beaver trap there and we got the sticks and the gland. So we're gonna put one here and then we're gonna put one on the other side of the pond where there's a lot of activity. Okay, so we're on the other side of the pond and all these trees will eventually be coming down and that's why I really wasn't too worried right now. But let me show you, give you an example. Uh, look at this one. Well, this one was done just a few weeks ago. Look at that. Look at all the chips. Isn't that crazy? That's just crazy. So, bring that, let's put that trap right over here. Again, I mean, I could put other attractants in the trap, like apples, and you could put a bunch of different stuff, but I don't want to catch raccoons and possums. So that's right. Let's put it right next to this tree, right? Okay, so the way that these work, the other have a heart, the other traps I have have one latch. This one has two, which is kind of hard. So you gotta go like that and then push it in and then lift it up. And then there's the swing arm. And then this swing arm goes up on the tree. There. That's it. So he'll go in here to get those gland sticks and bam. And I'll have me a new beaver skin hat. <laughs> Doc be eating beaver now. <laughs> wow, what a difference. So the whole fields look like this. They were all tall and overgrown, had a bunch of weeds in them, even though we did have some decent production. And now I've sprayed them and killed them off. And David has taken them all down now with his bush hog. God, that looks so nice. We had a bunch of pumpkins. <laughs> you, can see, you can see the pumpkins being chopped up. That means we're gonna have pumpkins, wild pumpkins growing out here later at some point. We are practicing no-till. This is the first, this was a pasture that was this tall. And I'll just, let me stress this again. We are strong believers in no-till, but this is a weird kind of area where um, okay, we've got roots into the ground now and what I need to do is I need to lightly till this. I don't want to pull all the roots out. I just He's going to come by with a tiller and just till like one inch. And so I can put down, put down all my seed. Man, that looks so much better. I'm kind of thinking, kind of thinking about planting maybe some corn over here. What's corn? Eight weeks? Maturity Really wouldn't mind having some corn up here Because this really isn't a deer field The deer fields are up over here and down over here
So like I said, it's uh, been a busy week. It's going to be a busy week. <laughs> that is a putting green that we just reseeded. Hit subscribe because I'll show this. I'll show this progress on here because we just finished. Uh, I just posted a video about seeding. And we've done a seeding on this. Then we'll come back with sand. We'll do some leveling. And we'll bring this back to kind of a cool looking green. I'll show you the progress on all the yards. David's coming back out tomorrow with the tiller. He's going to till a little bit on the field very gently just to stir it up. Uh, the shed is going to be delivered and installed and built tomorrow, the next two days. Uh, what else have I got? I've got uh, my electrician coming out to do to install all kinds of wiring underground. We're going to have to run over 400 feet trench, over 400 feet of wiring out this place. We've got a lot going on. So uh, check out the Instagram. I'm not real big on it, but uh, we're starting it up. I finally caved to the pressure on it. I'll go ahead and put one up, and I'll post little cool stuff that I don't post up on the channel. That's it. Talk to you later. Doc.